<laughs> he has literally your clones. Hi, Keep It Crazy family. It is time for Max's Then and Now. Woo -hoo! Max has come Go back. so far. Did you know, fun fact real quick before we get started, that he is the tallest kid in our entire house. He's the tallest, but yet he's one of the youngest. Well, he's middle child. You don't ever have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love, love, love. beginning with Max. So he is our second born. So it was my second birth and I thought I'm gonna be the perfect mom and do it all natural and just do the best for my baby, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not like that anymore guys. I'm a girl all the way. <laughs> so he was my last one that I did natural because I told Aaron and I told Shelly who were in the delivery room, I told them, listen, I want to do it all natural, no matter what pain I'm in, no matter what I say to you, I know that I want to do it natural. So do not give me any medication, do not give me anything, no matter what I say. Biggest mistake, uh, actually my biggest regret in life is, <laughs> is this situation. Okay, so we got into the hospital and labor was progressing, I was able to handle it. All these parents wanted their kid to come on February 14th, so the, the hospital was full. They didn't have any rooms. They put us in like the smallest room imaginable. I, it looked like a broom closet that they put us in. Yeah, and then the nurse came in and gave me Pitocin. Pitocin to speed up my labor. And all of a sudden it went from like, I can handle it, I can handle it. And then they gave me the medication and I was like, I literally thought I was gonna die guys. Like I was like, I'm gonna die. And I was tried everything. I was like, please give me medicine. Please give me an epidural. Like I can't do this. I'm gonna die. Like, and I begged the doctor and I guess behind my back when the doctor left the room, they're like, nope, don't give it to her. And the she doctor felt so was. bad. But the doctor came in like, it's okay. Like, and I was like, I was literally gonna die. So when it was time to push, one push and he was out because I was like, <laughs> I'm not messing around. Like if he doesn't come out right the second, I literally would die. So. <laughs> I felt so bad. It was so bad. I wanted to respect her wishes. It was so. not my wishes at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing about the whole thing is afterwards, I was like, I was asking the nurse, why did you give me um, the Pitocin to speed up my labor? And she's like, oh, we just needed the rooms. So I almost died because they needed rooms in the hospital. And then Max had to end up being in the NICU for Six like a days. week, yeah. almost just under a week because he had jaundice really bad and he had to be under the light. And so because they didn't have any rooms, they kicked Crystal out of her room. So she's recovering from having a baby. They keeping, they're keeping him in the NICU and she's literally sleeping on every couch in the hospital all week and she wouldn't go home. She's like, I'm not leaving my baby here. Leave him. Not gonna happen. I couldn't leave him. And I wanted to breastfeed and I wanted to like, I just, it's your baby and I could not leave him. So I literally slept in the waiting room for six, seven days, cried almost every day, but went in every couple hours and fed him and made sure he was taken care of and Worst, worst birth experience out of any of the births I've had, but he was so worth it. Weren't you so worth it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was a wild one when he was little. He was so wild. I mean, he was the sweetest little kid and he was such a good baby, but he would always get up at 5 a.m. Like he was our early riser. He was very destructive. <laughs> Bolt in the china closet. Oh my gosh. Like, I wish I had a video of it because it's like the funniest thing in the world. He would like be stacking blocks all nice and calm on the floor and then all of a sudden he'd be like Aah! and like the blocks would just go flying everywhere and I'm like, what was that? And Aaron used to be like, I think it was a burst of testosterone. <laughs> I'm like, what? It was 
so crazy. And he didn't he break his ceiling fan when he was like two years he old? He was two years old and he broke a ceiling fan. I'm like, how does a two year old? I think he threw something on it. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember any of that? No. You know? And he loved to dance. So I have some dancing videos. They're so cute. Oh. Hi. Sticking my finger in an outlet though, or not in an outlet. Me and Landon were playing with like this Lightning McQueen nightlight, and I stuck my finger like in between the two, um, the two prongs. prongs. And then I stuck it in the outlet and it electrocuted me. And <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, I felt like I had to keep my eye on him 24 seven because he thought of the things that I'm like, how do kids even think of this? Like he was just crazy and wild and fun. But my favorite thing about Max is that he is so sweet. He has one of the best hearts and he's one of the kids that's least in trouble and he doesn't like to get in trouble. Like if he gets in trouble, he like comes crying, he feels so bad, he like tries to make up with it like however he can and he's like, I'll never do that again and he truly never does it again, right? Yeah, I try. <laughs> you try. <laughs> he just does not like to be in trouble at all. Max is the biggest sweetheart. He has the greatest heart and he is so good with all the animals. He is my animal buddy. He is my chicken master. I mean, he is taking care of them. He takes such good care of the dogs. We love him. It's actually his chore to take care of the chickens because none of the he's other the kids will want to do it. it. <laughs> he loves doing it though. Yeah, and he's so good with his own dog and he just, I'm very impressed with how good he is with animals. If I had a thousand tongues, I would sing with everyone. Voices like a mountain song Sing you are my only one Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful Already doing dishes Okay, it's all done Max, leave it there, mommy will load it Thank you Say bye to you Let's go. Something else about Max is he used to scream all the time, like Gosh. right in the middle of church. It's the quietest moment. Everybody's concentrating. Ah! For no <laughs> reason. <laughs> so true. He still does. He, he still, still does. He still randomly screams. I don't know why. But from what, like a year old till he was almost two years old, about 18 months. I didn't, we didn't even go to church because he would just scream and I couldn't, like, I, I don't know. We were just like, well, we'll wait till he's a little older to go back. Why do you scream? Do you know why? No. Is it just fun? I guess so. <laughs> hi, Max. Say hi, please. Max, say hi. 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 Say bye. Bye. So another cool thing about me is, um, actually my grandpa was colorblind, um, his dad, and he actually passed it down to me, so now I am colorblind. I know a lot of you know this already, but yeah. I'm he does have the colorblind glasses, and I know a lot of you asked, does he still wear them? Do you and still wear them? Do you still wear them? When I put them on, it's just harder to tell colors, other than, like, it's just harder when I have them on than off. And so I just prefer to have them off because it's easier for me because I've already seen that color my whole life. And so I'll, I'll know what it is. I do think that's the interesting thing is he got the colorblind glasses when he was 12? No, it was 13, just last year. 13. 13. 
And so he has spent his entire life seeing colors one years. way, and then to suddenly try to learn them another way, it's not an easy transition. It was so. difficult. He wore them for like a month or two afterwards, like constantly, and he would be like, what color is this? I'm like, that's pink, but he's always seen it as red, so he was like, it was just so confusing that he was like, I just like seeing the way that I see. And I, I saw like, so my mom pulled out this puzzle for Aurora, like this color puzzle, and then there was this piece and I had the glasses on and it looked black in the glasses, but apparently it was brown, but then I took them off and I realized it was brown and I just... Cause he's already learned them that yeah. way. But I think that what, no matter how you see, it's beautiful in your own eyes or like in your own sight. Another funny story from Max's childhood is he used to sit for hours and line cars up in like a perfect little, and even if I would go in and move one of the cars, he would move it right back. So I thought he was gonna have OCD when he was older because he was like so perfect and his room was always clean and like, compared to Hallie, cause so we had Hallie first, Max was second, and Hallie was so messy with her room, she still <laughs> is, but Max's was always super clean and organized, and I feel like you're kind of like that now, like his room is pretty, I mean it can get a little messy, but I feel like for the most part you keep it pretty organized and clean. Yeah, I try my best. This is me now. I'm 14 years old and I'm becoming a freshman in high school. My favorite colors are black and red, or is it pink? Because I'm colorblind. My favorite thing to do right now is to do flips on the trampoline, and I'm actually working on it on ground, so let me show you what I could do on the trampoline. When I'm older, I want to have three kids because that's what fits in a normal car. My favorite animal is a dog, and of course my favorite dog is Ned. For a future job, I want to stream. I really enjoy it, and I just love talking to everyone. And um, I know some people say that's not a real job, but to me it is. I enjoy it. My favorite clothing brand is Crazy Pieces, coming soon. But it, it is Vans. Um, I love Vans, but I need some new ones. I don't really fit in my old ones, so. My favorite food is probably a soft pretzel, salted, so good. And I also love the cinnamon ones, but the salted ones are better. My favorite drink is Sprite. I just love soda, and it's like not, it doesn't have like the caffeine part in it, or caffeine. You like Mountain Dew too, don't deny. <laughs> it's pretty good too. Have you ever had a broken bone or stitches? I have not had a broken bone, but I have had stitches. So me and my sister Hallie thought it would be a great idea to 360 into the pool a bunch of times because it was fun. My mom was hanging out with her friends on like the other side of the pool. She had told us around like three or four times to stop it. We didn't, of course, and one time I did it, I didn't jump far enough and bang, right there, got, had to get stitches. What is your biggest fear? I have a big fear of heights, but I try to get over my heights by like scaring myself, so like I'll look at heights and then I'll try to get myself out of not being scared. I don't know, I feel like I'm just scared of like falling or an accident happening or something. Thank you so much for watching my then and now, bye.